Hey, hey guys. Um, so, I guess today is the day. Um, gonna start from the beginning with Idol. I, you know what? I didn't get in the guide. I didn't get in the guide if it's Idol or G Idol. Like the G is in parentheses, which makes me think you're not supposed to say it. Um, but then the I is also, oh, wait. Okay. So I think it is idle. If I'm recalling the, uh, explanation of the I. Anyway, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'm, this is kind of gonna, I guess this is gonna be the first group that I get into, um, on this channel. Um, and I don't know what the preferred, like, way to do it is with Idol. Um, as far as I know, there's no, like, story arcs or any specific order that you need to watch things in. I'm just gonna watch everything in order of release because that's how my brain works. I, it makes my brain happy to do things in sequential or chronological order. Um, even though I did start with, like, Literally, I started at the end, <laughs> but that was just more of like, I didn't know anything about them and I just kind of get a, wanted to get a feel of their sound. Um, so um, that's why I just checked out like the most recent thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to be really cool. Um, I, you guys have done a great job of kind of, you know, filling me in about their backstory and how they didn't even have. A debut song because Cube couldn't afford one, um, which is mind blowing. I've never heard of anything like that before. Um, and in so Soyeon wrote their debut song just so that they could debut <laughs> with a song. This is that that's really I mean that's incredible on her part. Um, honestly, it doesn't whether I like the song or not. I respect its existence because that's amazing um and yeah and that is something that I have to also just kind of say again I don't know I, I've heard a couple of idol title tracks they're not typically my style um but I'm I'm, I'm interested in the group anyway so I still want to hear their material um and I still want to get to know the girls. And hearing this backstory, or rather um, reading this backstory of how they, um, I think you guys said they're basically, you, they're referred to as like an independent or the most independent group in K-pop. Um, they, you know, so Yen, I guess, writes most of the songs, or I guess all of, all of the title tracks that she's wrote. She's written all of the title tracks, that probably except for the English one. Um, and the other members produce and write as well. Um, so, I mean, you know, they are pretty much a self-made group at this point, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I respect the heck out of the group. Even if I don't love every song I hear, it doesn't mean anything. I can't help what I like or don't like. Um, trust me, if I, good, I will like everything. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'll, I'll never be mean about it. And I will, I'm sure I'll find something. So I love all of their, I like all of their voices. They have... This is quite a few very unique vocal tones to have in one group. So I'm intrigued already as to see, just to hear how that works together. Um, but yeah, I guess I've rambled on long enough. Um, yeah, all right, let's get into it. I did check the volume. If anything, I think my mic is a tiny bit lower than usual. So I'm sort of leaning towards where the mic is because um, I'm sure you know, this is going to be a banger. So, uh, <laughs> I know it's going to be, a, it might be a little bit loud, but still rather it be a little loud than too low. She is so tiny.
I don't know why. Meon looked uh, different to me for some reason. I guess I just have to get, you know, used to all the different uh, hairstyles and hair colors and looks and, and things of that nature. You think you know their faces and then you don't. <laughs> The fits are on point, let me say that much. Um, I love this style. I, I like these sets too. You know, I mean, I mean, CGI is necessary a lot of the time and um, I'm not one of those people who gets weird about CGI. Um, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's like, if it's a unrealistic, if it's supposed to look like something unrealistic, you can't realistically render it. Um, so I, I, so nothing against videos with lots of CGI, do what you got to do. Um, but it, you know, there's definitely something to be said for being able to, uh, cre create actual, uh, set pieces and set designs. Um, and I, and I like this, I like the, the, they're probably going for something of an island vibe, um, just based on the beat. And, um, it, it fits the aesthetic, I think it's on point. Or whatever this is. <laughs> Yuki. Okay, so I take back the island thing. It seems like it's just kind of random, but I still... <laughs> I still think it's cool. It's like, uh, it reminds me of, um, oh, oh, it was right there. It was right there and now it's gone. Ah, anyway, there are a lot of these kind of, uh, these kind of videos where the, it, there's really no, not much of a correlation between the, um, the video itself and the song. Um, it's really more about, and I would, since this was a debut, especially it's really about the visuals um the visuals the style and you know showcasing that i think um so it's really not it's really not that serious at this you know i, I don't i think it's fine um to have this kind of video we just want to see some choreo you want to see some looks we want to get used to seeing some faces and we want to see what the vibe is like um and they're hitting all of those points um, I just, I saw like a half of a palm tree and I was like, oh, it's the island. I get it. Yeah, it's the island. Um, but, uh, well, this is actually, and I am enjoying this and Yuki, I didn't want to have a, I don't know why I feel like I was just going to have like this loyalty to Celia and be like, oh, that's my bias. I don't know this group, but, um, I just, I just assumed, I just assumed, you know what? I'm not going to say it's, I still haven't seen any, any content. Uh, any reality shows or anything so I'm just gonna chill I'm gonna chill I'm gonna chill but I'm gonna say Yuki Yuki is maybe a problem like she's so cute and when I say cute I mean cute like up uh, again like cute like uh, adorable um they're all they're all kids to me probably I don't know their ages, actually. I just watched a guy, and I don't remember everyone's age, but I think that everyone was kind of really young, if I... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Whatever. I... Dami's my bias and dream catcher, so what else? I guess I can have young biases, but um, but that's not my feeling when I see her. I When I say cute, I don't mean cute like, ooh, she's cute. I mean cute like, oh my... God. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, this is a vibe. They're just having fun. Ooh, hold on. I apologize for everything I just did because I hate when people go back without pausing because it's abrupt and I hate that. Um, and then I hate that I went back twice. Um, I was just, I really love this little part right here. It's the la ta, -ta. And once again, I didn't go back far enough. I keep doing that. Oh, well, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a noob, a noob reactor. I'm learning. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that the henna was probably not well received. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me pause. Let me go back because I closed my eyes. And as someone who watches reactions, I hate when reactors close their eyes because I'm like, you you missed it. <laughs> So since they have to do a lot of things themselves, did the um, the main dancers, or I guess it was a main dancer and lead dancer, but did the dancers in the group? Oh. <laughs> did the uh, main dancer and the lead dancer when they had a main dancer and a lead dancer? Did they uh, uh, create the choreography? Because that would be great. That would be really cool, um, which I should watch a dance practice um, next for, for this. Um, no, I actually, I did enjoy this. See, now I'm upset because it's like I, I could have just been into this group from day one. I was here five years ago. I was deep into K-pop in 2018. I was also really deeply out of K-pop later in 2018, but whatever. <laughs> I was deeply into K-pop 2018. I was here for their debut, and I just didn't listen to it <laughs> I don't know um it got by me for sure um but I yeah I just had the misfortune again I guess of hearing a couple of title tracks and kind of just not just not really feeling them so I just wasn't compelled to dig deeper um hmm hmm I played myself yeah I like this a lot I like this a lot. It's not, um, it's not noisy at all. It's not noisy. It's not clunky. It's not, um, you know, it's not all over the place. Like, I guess I kind of, I don't know why I thought that that was their sound. Um, and why I feel like I kind of was not compelled to like really, um, check out their stuff, but that's not what I just heard. This is, um, this is a, a great debut. And it's definitely impressive that Soyeon wrote this on her own. Um, I didn't notice. Didn't notice the bicycle. Ooh, I love this dress. But yeah, the visuals were great. Like I said, it's just like go go to a couple of sets, show off your visuals, show off some choreography, give us a little bit of personality, give us a little bit something to the camera to introduce yourself. Um, yeah, it was a nice video. Mostly just. The looks were on point. The, visual, the visuals were on point. I saw enough choreography that makes me want to see the choreography. I know you just don't get a lot of that um, in MVs unless it's the performance MV. So I'll see. I'll check and see if there's a performance MV or a dance practice because I want to see this choreo. Because towards the end when they were doing something like this or whatever they were doing with their hands, all that stuff. Yeah, that. That got me. I love stuff like that. I love um, hand gestures and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is, I am, I'm really excited now because I'm excited to just like discover more that I, um, that just went over me with like with the title tracks and 
like yeah like maybe you know it sounds like i kind of maybe pegged them wrong in terms of, in terms of their um their sound um and i was always interested in the b-sides anyway cuz like i said i know that there are there are just like i i i think i may have said this before i am a huge red velvet fan and honestly i don't like most of their title tracks the first time i hear them I usually, they have to grow on me, especially the red title tracks. I'm, you know, if you know, I assume anyone who knows, I don't know is Red Velvet, but if you don't, um, the off chance that you don't, they have two different concepts. They have a red and they have velvet and red. It's this really sort of poppy, happy, bright, upbeat kind of thing. And then velvet is more of the mature, uh, somewhat usually kind of R&B or at least very kind of lower uh, lower tempo or yeah just just more mature kind of sounds um so when they have songs like rookie or power up or red flavor that's just not my thing um but it usually becomes my thing <laughs> um, I usually get into it but it takes a minute and then even so it's still going to be my least favorite song on the album consistently consistently um so I just, you know, that may be my journey with Idol, and that would be fine if I just end up not really into the title tracks. I, I know the B-sides are there. Um, most group, actually, well, no, Shiny is a, is a, an exception because Shiny's title tracks for me are, they hit for me the same as their B-sides, but because I was going to say, I feel like that happens to me actually most of the time. With K-pop groups, I like. I feel like I get more into the B sides, um, but yeah, that was a whole lot of talking about nothing. But Yuki, Yuki's voice, Soyeon's voice, this is amazing. Like I am, I'm so I'm so fucking pumped right now because these are just some really unique mini two. These are just some really unique voices to have, and I'm just excited to further um, hear how they like complement each other. Um, and how they, they kind of use, I guess, themselves, if they're their own producers. So that is also, that is extremely interesting to see, to hear what a group sounds like that is doing so much of their own production. Um, I am just so impressed. I'm just so impressed. That's, that's, wow. I mean, I know a lot of groups that dip their hand in some songs here and there, but they they apparently are deeply involved um, in their discography. So props to them. Damn. That means they also have a lot of actual money <laughs> that's going to them. And that's always nice to hear when it comes to K-pop artists because these companies will try and you know, you won't even get into it. <laughs> you already know. You already know. If you're and if you're their fan, I'm sure you already know. Um, because it's cute. Apparently sucks. Some oh, someone told me uh, in the comments that it was um CLC. I was trying to think of why I knew Cube, and it was because of CLC. Um. And they they did them dirty, so I really hope that um, Idol can survive this company. Um. I don't know if where fans stand with it um like is, is there has is there a feeling that fans would like the whole group to go to a different company or are things okay now like i, I mean because it sounds like the company did them really really dirty in the beginning and it sounds like they did sujin pretty dirty um so is it is the what what's like the consensus among fans like is it chill is it would it be too dangerous if if the group re-signed um after the after the contract period if they went to a different company is that something that people want to happen um i'm just i'm just curious at this point because again i've never heard it no kind of mess like that like you didn't a company's put a, a group together auditioned people formed a group and then said we actually can't afford for you to debut we can't afford a song for you. I don't, I'm just, my mind is still blown by that. Um, but yeah, a true underdog story, it sounds like, 
with um with idol which is perfect for me that seems to be those seems to, those seem to be the groups that uh capture my attention somehow <laughs> without fail without trying um yeah so no this is nice um no nice is a lame word to use for this because it was a fucking bop um yeah it's bop it's a fucking bop thank you uh <laughs> Uh, for supporting me and finally diving as idol um i'm trying to hold off on content but they were the guide had me cheesing had me in pain okay I had my cheeks just in pain because they were just so cute and so funny and i am desperate for more but again i, I there's no way i can be consistent um so i just feel like I should hold off and just get to the MVs in order. Um, I would like some kind of opinion on if it's suggested that I um, like watch all of the MVs straight through and then go back and do the albums or should I just do like the title track and then the album. So you guys can weigh in on that um, if you care to do so. Um, I know I rambled so much, uh, <laughs> and I might seem a little bit dead. Uh, just it's just late. I, I worked and I recorded something already, but I swear I I'm genuinely enthused. I and I genuinely like this song, and I probably I'm gonna listen to it some more. I'm probably gonna love it by the time I record something again. But I did really really like it, and I'm really impressed that Soyeon just wrote this um, and like wrote their debut song. And I'm and I'm not and I swear I don't just like it because I know she wrote it, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And now at this point I've liked so many of their songs that people are probably like, I think you're lying all along. <laughs> no, this, this is delightful. This is what I want. This is why I did it. I want to find what I've been missing because there are a lot of groups around the time I got into K-pop that were kind of debuting or or having their their uh, moment of gaining traction. And I just like it just went right right by me. Um <laughs> so um yeah, this is great. This was great, this was dope. I like this song. I'm gonna listen to it more because now it's all I got. I've got I think about three or four songs now that I listen to. Uh, idol songs. Um one started playing that I hadn't heard yet, uh the other day. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> and this was like, like ran to cut it off. So I'm serious about this. I'm serious about them. Um, th this part is so funny. She's so freaking cute. And she's so tiny. That's adorable. They're adorable. They're so adorable. Okay. Um, thank you. Have a good night or a good morning or a good day. A good October. A good Halloween. A good <laughs> Whatever you have in, I hope it's good. All right. Bye.